Hello there, escapers. My name is Xenovilius, and welcome to a retro style drop log video that people used to do back in the olden days, the golden days. And I've actively gathered every single drop from every single boss monster throughout 2017, and it's uh, taken up a lot of my hard drive space. But uh, I've done it for a reason, and so that I could make this montage of clips of drops for you guys to enjoy, which consists of pretty much every single drop I've got in 2017. I wouldn't say exactly everything, but maybe about 90 to 95 percent of all the drops I've gotten. And I've really been looking forward to making this video one because it's so much fun to see myself getting so many drops and editing the clips, but two to get rid of all that hard drive space, which I'm going to be very grateful to have back for 2018. So 2017 was a really good year for me for a few reasons. I don't want to spoil it too much. The one thing I will say is that I got trim on the 14th of January last year, 2017. And so this was the year in which I had trim for almost the entire year, maybe a couple of months where I lost it because of the Manifest update and me not being quick enough. But this year was probably my most productive year in terms of bosses killed in terms of loots gained, GPs gained and things since I trimmed and I didn't have any other completionist goals as such so my main focus was on bossing so a lot of bosses to go through at the end of it all I'm going to do a price check of all the drops I've gotten and look at all the bosses I've killed and how many I've killed of each throughout 2017 thanks to Rune Metrics Pros. Oh, and uh, spoiler alert for those of you that haven't yet watched my Pat to Pronus and Are You Insane series. Even if you have watched all of them, there are a couple of drops from episode 5 of Are You Insane which will be coming out next week. So, yeah, unfortunately that's going to be spoiled for you guys, but uh, it won't be more than a couple of drops there. So, hope you look forward to that. I'm certainly very excited to do that but that will come after the montage of every single drop so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the other side
what a year it was. A fantastic year for me. I really had a lot of fun doing bossing this year with complete freedom knowing I've pretty much completed the game and the only thing I wanted was the Insane Final Boss title and for that reason up to October from January to October all I pretty much did whenever I logged in in terms of bossing was Araxel and Raids and that reflects in the volume of drops I got from each of those two bosses. Now I made a promise at the start of the year when I released episode 13 and the last it was the last episode of Pat to Pronus, a series in which one of my few goals was to get the Mallory pet. Unfortunately, I was really dry at Araxor, so I gave up on that and I said, I'll start an Insane Final Boss series, but only if I get the Araxor pet, the base pet. And um, it took me until the 29th of October to get it. Made a video on it and it was such a relief when I got it. I almost got scammed out of it but uh, Jagix were very kind to actually give it to me. More details in the video. And for that reason, most of my drops are from those two bosses. But then once I hit the 29th of October, that's when things really started to get interesting. I got a load of motivation to do things. I sold off my loot tab which I'd been gathering for years. And I started episode one of Are You Insane? We're up to almost episode five now as we speak. And because I sold my loot tab, haven't kept a loot tab as such, but we have something better. We have a Rune Metrics Pro, which can give you guys a better indication of my loot than any loot tab ever could, even though it's nowhere near as fun as seeing a loot tab being sold. I'll give you that much. So here we go. As you can see, the most number of kills, I've got 121k kills across all monsters. But the most number of kills was at Mummies and Banshees. For predictable reasons, I guess. I trimmed on the 14th of January last year. So just before I trimmed, I was trying to get all the champ scrolls. I got 11 in 2016. So I just needed the last two, I believe. Or maybe a few more. I got lucky at some of the others. But uh, yeah, that's why you can see so many kills of those. And uh, Abyssal Demons and Edimu as well. Edimu, as you might expect. The famous Edimu pet, or infamous should I say. And uh, let's have a look at the loot. Well, as you can see, I have apparently gained 3.067 bill in loot across this entire year. Now, as accurate as that may be, it doesn't consider two things. The first thing it doesn't consider is that I didn't pick up everything that was dropped and um, mostly I didn't pick up stuff that was low value. So you can say maybe 90-95% of that is true. The second thing is it doesn't consider untradeable items which includes stuff like Telos orbs. Now of course I got an entire orb set done in my 15 KC at Telos so I need to include that and I sold that orb set for about 1.5 bill. So that was nice. Just kidding, guys. No way I'd got that. All I got was the Telos Tendril. And, um, and that is worth zero, of course. Just kidding, just kidding. That's going to happen on my 16th kill, which will be the next kill. So looking forward to that, I hope. I certainly am. But uh, anyway, back on topic. Spider legs. So I got 26 spider leg pieces across the last year. And uh, if we say each one is worth 45 mil. And if we also add the Arax Araxi hilts. I got nine combined eyes and webs, which are worthless. But I got two fangs, which are worth about 100 mil each. So adding all that together, you add another 1.37 bill to this total. So the total amount I gained in 2017 through PVM was 4.4 bill. 4.4 bill, guys, and I don't even do Telos. I did a little bit of AOD. But as you might expect, the most valuable item was that Praisal Codex I got in December that boosted my stats up massively. <laughs> and I kept that as well, but I got the Prayers. So um, yeah, kind of lost one bill after getting that 500 mil. So um, mixed feelings there. But I guess you can go on and on with these stats. You can look at each individual boss monster. You can look at how many of each item I got. For example, I got seven ability codexes. Oh, this doesn't also include Acto pieces, which can of course be alked or redeemed for coins in the wilderness. So I'm expecting those to be worth quite a bit. I'm on like 25 Acto pieces right now. If we have a look at the boss kills, so AOD, 
have got 227 AOD kills. I've got 151 normal next kills. As you can see, I died at Iraq C 155 times. So you can see that by the difference in between these two numbers. So uh, that's pretty embarrassing, isn't it? But a lot of Iraq C kills, and that's why you've seen so many spider leg pieces. What else? 533 Magister kills. 1,119 Zilliana kills because I'm hunting the pet. A load of DKs, not that many KBD kills, probably because I got the pet. And loads of other things like that. Wow, I killed 262 Rupert Demons. Not sure how I managed that, but uh, awesome. So lots of stats there for you guys to have a look at. As you can see, I gained 4.4 bill or so in the last one year through bossing alone. My most productive months were the last two months of the year after I got the base pet and I could freely kill any other bosses I wished to start the insane final boss pet hunt in earnest. And yeah, that is about it. So in 2018, I have a few goals. Uh, I want to do a lot of Telos. I want to start Telos. Probably should have started while the Desert Pantheon Aura was still active and I could use the Ward of Iktalara in effect. But oh well, too late to be complaining. So I want to do a lot of Telos. I want to do a lot of Angel of Death. And of course, Solak. I want to start Solak and I don't want to drift off. I want to keep killing it, make a good team for it. And hopefully it will be profitable and as successful as Angel of Death was. So looking forward to those three bosses. I need to do a lot of Virago. Not that I want to, but I really need to do a lot of Virago. So I will be looking to do a lot of Virago as well. Not the greatest in terms of money per hour, but uh, those three or four bosses are my main targets for the year. The other pet should be fairly straightforward to get, to be honest. And I'm hoping to get quite a few titles on the way there as well so let me know if you enjoyed it if you did i will do another one at the end of 2018 which will hopefully be even more lucrative to have a look at if not uh, i will just delete my clips and save myself some hard drive space so uh, yeah thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one Stay,